Hello friends. Well, I have come up with a summary of the short story The Blue Bird by Nora Burke. The short story The Blue Bird written by Nora Burke is about a 12-year-old girl. Her heroic deed and a simple innocent wish. The story begins with the description of a river and a crocodile and a 12-year-old poor girl Sibia. Although she was very poor and could not think of buying gems or even blown glass beads, she loved to admire the different varieties of beads, Kashmiri clothes, and even the shining tin trays that were sold in a bazaar or market near the village where the railway line ended. All the females in her village had different necklaces made from colorful beads that were found in the jungle with their family needles but Sibia's family needle was broken so she had to wait until they could afford a new needle again. One day Sibia, her mother and other women of the village went into the jungle to collect paper grass that they sold in the market. All the women were wearing colorful necklaces but Sibia had none. On her way, she kept dreaming about having her own colored beads to make various necklaces and bracelets to decorate her thin oil brown figure. The river is full of dangerous crocodiles, so the women shout when they cross the river to scare the crocodiles away. They wet the ghats or the banks of the river collect the paper grass and come back to the village. But Sibia stays behind to check the cave where she had kept her handmade clay cups and saucers to dry. While wandering around, she sees another woman who has come to collect water in her pot. When that woman begins to collect water from the river, suddenly a crocodile rises out of the water and grabs the woman's leg between his sharp teeth. The woman tries to hold a rock to save herself, but the crocodile turns out to be too fierce for her. Sibia throws her farm tool, that is a fork, at the crocodile that goes straight in its eye. The crocodile groans in pain and leaves the woman. Sibia pulls the woman back onto the bank. She stops the blood by putting sand on the wounds and binds a rag tightly over the wounded area. Then she takes the woman to the Gujar encampment from where the men take her to a hospital. After that, Sibia goes back into the jungle to get her grass, sickle and fork. The fork was lying near a rock. While picking it up, she comes across a beautiful blue bead. She plucks it out of water and becomes very happy. She finds it already pierced and ready for use. On her way back home, she meets her mother who has been looking for her. Her mother scolds her for coming late, worrying that something wrong might have happened to her daughter. Sibia tells her everything that had happened on the river bank and shows her mother the blue bead. Well, the blue bead is based on the simple innocent wish of a poor girl Sibia, who is the main character of the story. Sibia's character is quite simple, innocent yet brave, a girl with a small wish to have a new necklace. The plot is quite simple but has a powerful message to convey. If you want something intensely and have patience to wait and work for it, then you will finally get it. It also shows the difficult situations in old Indian village families, how they struggle every day for their living, how they find happiness in even little things and celebrate it. The beautiful portrayal of Sibia's emotions is deeply touching. The Blue Bead is indeed a beautiful story that leaves its mark upon the reader's mind. 
So friends, here I come to the end of the summary of the story. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't and if you choose to subscribe, I promise that I'll be coming up with quality videos for you from time to time. And yes, I'll stick to my promise. Thank you.